Before we get to the cost question, uh, I think it's important that every individual looking to buy a house really understands what they can afford and the life state that they'll be in in the next uh, one to three years. That'll help them plan better for the type of house that they, they should be buying at that point in time. Then moving on to the cost. There are a number of once-off and ongoing costs that you would need to consider um, as part of the purchase of a new house. So in terms of the cost that you can expect to pay once-off are firstly your bond initiation fee, which is the fee that is charged by a bank to initiate the bond and open it up in your name. Secondly, you can expect to pay a bond registration cost, which is a cost that is paid to the lawyers registering the bond at the deed's office. Uh, the third cost would be transfer cost, which is a cost that is levied by uh, the South African Revenue Services and as far as taxes are concerned. The fourth cost would be the cost of moving your house. So costs such as um, moving your furniture, getting new security in place, and other ongoing costs to ensure that you're settled in your new house. The fifth cost would be ongoing costs such as paying your levies, rates and taxes, and electricity.